Jonathan Lee Riches, aka JLR. This trailer behind me, this was once Blue Ridge Savings Bank in Greer, South Carolina. May 16th, 2003, three employees here were murdered. Someone came in here and murdered three employees here in broad daylight. Till this day, the murders remain unsolved. The murders in this location here, this trailer that was once Blue Ridge Savings Bank is unsolved. Frontage Road, that's the interstate right here. Spartanburg County, South Carolina. Someone came in here May 16th, 2003 and murdered the three employees in here. The murders remain unsolved. Who murdered the employees here. Who murdered the victims? Now, there is speculation that the individual that could be responsible for the murders is serial killer Todd Colehead. Todd Colehead killed seven people in this area uh, 2003. A little bit before or a little bit after the murders here, Todd killed four people at a motocross motorcycle shop nearby. Same sort of circumstances. The employees, four of them were shot and killed during the day at this motorcycle shop. This murder is unsolved. It happened a little bit before that murders. Todd had a 65 acre compound in uh, Woodruff. It's like 20 miles south of here. In 2015, he lured a couple to his property, ended up killing them and leaving the remains on his property. In 2016, he lured two more couples, killed the male and the female. Kayla Brown was held captive and she was found by authorities alive, chained alive on his property, his compound. He confessed to the three murders on his property, plus the four murders of the motocross people. But he's also said, this is serial killer Todd Colehep, he's also said that he killed more people out there. And the murders of this location right here, this bank, remains unsolved. Blue Ridge Savings Bank, Bank Greer, South Dakota, right here. The murders of the three blank employees here remain unsolved. Who did it? Did serial killer Todd do it? There's also speculation that another gentleman around the same time possibly stole a car and then committed suicide an African-American male uh, around the same time, 2003, stole a car in the area, and was possibly involved. He ended up committing suicide a couple years later. Did he do it? A lot of unanswered questions. If you know any information about this bank, Blue Ridge Savings Bank and the murders that remain unsolved, this is like a trailer. Let me spin the camera around. This is like a trailer. Used to be a sign here right along Funtage Road, Interstate. This is it. This used to be a bank. You can see the side window people pull up. You could either deposit you know, the bank teller window. You gotta go up a hill to get up here. It's interesting. You gotta go up the hill to get up here. Looks like a trailer type let's feel it. 330. East Fontage Road. Yeah. So FDIC. There's a sign here. City of Greer Fire Marshal notices building is listed as vacant and shall not be occupied until a fire and life safety inspection has been conducted by the Office of the Fire Marshal.
around this building. There's some old security cameras. Very loud, very loud, you know? Uh, very loud here. I saw this around the side. Surveillance. Old surveillance camera. You pull around here and then drive off back onto the road there. But yeah, this is uh this was once a bank. This was once a bank. Blue Ridge Savings, and three people got murdered here. May 16, 2003. Who murdered? Murder remains on side. Was it serial killer Todd Colehead, or was it somebody else? If you have any information, contact the Greer Police Department, Spartanburg Sheriff's Department, uh, FBI, anybody. I mean, this bank was insured by the FDIC. So if you know any information, Go to authorities. Try to solve this case. It's it's been a long, long time, right? 2003. You're talking on uh, what are we at? 19 years. Coming up on 19 years. 19 years. Murders remain unsolved. 